Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you guys the trade day results for the six players we have up on our mini trade day. Uh, as you guys can see, we have 1800 offers to check. Uh, obviously, most of them are on the giveaway Patrice Bergeron. Um, I told you guys to send in some troll trades, so that is what I'm going to be doing first before I even start the video. But I want to apologize in advance if you hear any noise in the background or something like that. Uh, it is kind of prime time in my house and you know, there's a lot of movement. So I do apologize if there's some background music or noise. I can't really control that, but I just want to check out the trading results and I will see what we get. Anyways, first of all, let's choose the giveaway winner for Patrice Bergeron. As you guys can see, there's 1700 troll trades. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose somewhere. I'm going to choose the last dot and you can see there's only about 30 dots. So uh, if you sent it around 8 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., you had a pretty good chance of winning a Patrice Bergeron. So there it is. Enjoy your Patrice Bergeron and we'll move right on to the trades now. All right, so anyways, we're going to start off with Brad Marchand. He's got 29 trade offers, and oh man, that's a lot to check, so we're going to have to see what we get. So, first of all, I his value is around 25000 There is a current bid uh, right now, 25000 as well, but I'm not going to be taking that. I'm going to take a trade offer for sure, not going to wait it out until the current bid. So, anyways, we got 29 trade offers. The first one is Nathan McKinnon. Pretty sick card. I don't know exactly how much he's worth. Like I said, I haven't prepared that much, and I'm just going to go off what my gut feeling is. Uh, there's also Jake for Tannen, Aaron Ekblad, and 1,000 coins. I kind of do like that card. I mean, uh, Vertan, the that's the international player of the game, I think. Not a bad card, so we will delay that. We got Flynn, uh, Fillin, and 27k. Uh, I don't exactly want to take the coins for this one. I mean, if he's just offering me coins... Uh, you might as well just buy it from the marketplace, so I will reject it for now, even though, I mean, 29 trade offers, we should be okay. Okay, so Gustav Nyquist, not a bad card as well, we will delay that. Brian Little, Duclair, 5.4k, uh, I think the first three offers are a little bit better. Alright, let's go to the fourth one here, Ryan O'Reilly, Vertanen, 17k, um, I think the couple of offers here are kind of more interesting to me. I mean, I could take the coins, but then again, it's just like, I don't really need Ryan O'Reilly. I don't really need Vertanen right now. I will uh, reject that. I kind of like um, McKinnon right now. I don't know how much he's worth, but I kind of do like that card. Blake Wheeler as well. Not too interested. I already have a Blake Wheeler. We'll keep moving on though. James Neal. I have him on my Hot Roulette team. Uh, what else do we have? We have Bjorkstrand, not bad. <laughs> I mean, a bronze player. We got Victor Ass, Boychuk, 4.3k. Um, I'm not too interested in that deal as well. I mean, Victor Rask, he is an okay team of the week, but Brad Marchand, he's definitely a lot better in terms of his overall stats. So I'm not sure if I want to take that. Uh, four players, 18,000 coins. Pretty solid, like, coin amount. Uh, I just don't really like those players at all. I'm just basically taking the coins. So I will kind of delay that. 28k, once again. I don't think I'm just going to take up straight up coins because I feel like if you're just offering me coins, you might as well just buy the card on the marketplace and I can maybe take a trade offer for someone that actually wants to kind of upgrade their card. Uh, there's also 20k, three jerseys, don't need those. Uh, Patrick Sharp, Cam Fowler, 5.7k. We also got Tyson Berry. A lot of good players. Uh, Marion Gabrick, I'm not sure if he's worth too much. I mean, he is an 86 overall. There's a lot of players with 90 skating nowadays, so don't not sure if I want to take that. Justin Falk, 13k. We also got Pominville, Forsberg, Helm, 2k. Most of those players are kind of like, I'm not going to say quick sell value, but they aren't worth too much, so I will delay that. We got a Movember, Tyler Ennis. Uh, he's playing on the Buffalo Sabres right now. I'm not exactly sure how many upgrades he's going to get in the future, but he is, I think, a solid player. I haven't tried him out this year, but uh, Tyler Ennis is up there as well. Miku Koivu, Kreider, 690 coins. Oh man, there's a lot of things I want to check. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get this many trade offers. Um, so it's going to be a pretty hard decision right now. James Neal, Marion Hosa, Nick Foligno. We also got Adams and Marchand, a lower end version of Marchand. Not a bad trade. I mean, the thing is, I don't know how much uh, that flashback Adams is worth. Uh, even though I haven't really seen his card. It wasn't released like a month ago. I don't exactly know. Okpozo, Teresad, and Spetsa. Lots of good players there. Uh, not sure if I want to take that either. I'm going to have to do a little bit of... I don't know. I don't, I'll go through the offers again kind of on my own and just kind of see which one I want. And then I will uh, make a final decision there. We also got Falk, Drysidle, Krejci. Not too interested in those players. I, I don't really know. Patrick Marlowe, 16k. Uh, we got... Uh, Brendan Saad, Kyle Turris, 
Uh, once again, some pretty solid players, solid amount of pucks will delay that. What am I saying? Pucks. I don't think I'll ever get that word out of my head. Ever since NHL 13 and 14, uh, I can't just switch over to coins for some reason. I don't know. It just seems weird. Uh, Mike Green, goalie quickness, Mrs. Saga Steelhead's jersey. And we also got Chris Kreider uh, and 5K. So those are the trade offers we have to go through. So I'm going to kind of make my decision here. and I'll tell you what I'm going to pick. All right, so to me, I think it comes down to basically four or five trades that I'm interested in. Uh, I am interested in Nathan McKinnon. He's got a pretty good skating category. I know he's worth a little bit, especially on the marketplace. So McKinnon is definitely one of my favorites right now. Uh, Vertanen as well. I mean, I don't exactly know how many are in the market, but I wouldn't mind building some type of uh, international player of the game type of team or something like that, which is a pretty nice trade as well. So those are one of the trades I'm interested in. Gustav Nyquist worth a little bit as well. I kind of like that. And some of these deals, like Blake Wheeler, uh, James Neal, they uh, I already have those players. So if I were to take them, I would just put them right into my item inbox. And I know some people kind of want to upgrade as well, but uh, there are some really good trades as well. Uh, let me go into another trade that I kind of like. I mean, the 28,000 coins, definitely worth it. But, I mean, you might as well just keep the coins yourself and maybe just buy them out. I, I kind of don't want to do that, but at the same time, um, I think it's just better for the trade day if I don't accept straight-up coins. Uh, the next trade offer that I really like, there are some good ones here. Um, I do like, let me see here, Tyler Ennis. I mean, uh, straight-up Movember card. I'm not exactly sure how much he's worth. I'm going to say around 20k, so I'm going to think... He might be a good pickup as well just to have on the team. Uh, there is also that uh, Adams and Marchand deal. And this one is the one I'm leaning more to, like most towards because I haven't really seen that many Adams cards at least. And uh, I wouldn't just mind having that in my collection for the meantime. And there is a Brad Marchand, so he is kind of upgrading from the 86 overall version to the 88 version. Uh, and this was one of the uh, deals I liked as well. Ocpozo, Turis, Saad, and Spezza. He did offer 99 coins as well. Uh, I know Ocpozo is worth a little bit. And most of those cards are pretty decent. So what I'm going to be taking is... I think I'm going to be taking the Adams, Marchand, and 3k. Uh, just coming out with that deal, I think Marchand's worth a little bit. Adams is worth a little bit. I mean, their quick sell is above 7 or 8k. So I'm getting that guaranteed solid amount of money as well as the coin. So there you go. Enjoy your Brad Marchand. I'll go ahead into the other five players. Okay, so moving on to Brent Burns. He's got 29 trade offers. Oh man, this is a little bit harder than I thought. I, I don't exactly know. There's so many trade offers to go through, and all of them are kind of decent. I mean, I don't want to reject all your trade offers, but it's just there are just so many to pick from. And right now, Burns does have a 20.5k bid. I mean, I'm still going to take the trade offer, so let's go through them. Uh, we also we got Burns side, 17,000 coins. We got Team Kazakhstan. I actually want to know if Team Kazakhstan actually exists. I mean, I kind of want to watch a game or something. I, I don't I know if they actually have a team there. Uh, James Neal, 87 overall. I guess not bad. Fnuf, <laughs> Bucks, Morazic, all right. Uh, Fuchs, how do you say his name? Fuchs? I don't know. Bobrovsky, uh, he's a pretty solid goalie. Uh, the, I already have him, but not a bad player to pick up. Not a bad goalie to pick up. Chris Letang, 3.6k. Pretty solid one-for-one -one deal in terms of defenders, so I will delay that. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, I mean, uh, I like November cards. The thing is, I just don't know if he's going to be getting an upgrade anytime soon. Although he's now at, on the same team as McDavid, now McDavid's playing now. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get a Team of the Week card or something like that, so I will delay that. There's also Brodeen, Boy Chuck Vanek, 1.3k. Uh, we got Bobby Ryan, alright, I'll keep that... In the delayed list, I guess. Bjorkstrand, again. Keep getting Bjorkstrand. Um, Giordano, Voracek. Not the good Voracek, but the silver Voracek. Uh, Giordano, not a bad defender as well. I will delay that. Miku Koivu, not a bad player as well. Little Schwartz, Goudreau, and Ham. He was a whole plethora of players. Not sure if I want to take that for Brent Burns, but I will delay it. Myers, Fowler, and Hamilton. All right. Uh, solid defenders there. I mean, just solid defending all around. But he's giving up quite a bit for Brent Burns, so I'll have to delay that. Uh, Nazem Kadri, fully boosted, and uh, Kari Lennon. I don't know when the next time Kadri is going to get an uh, update or team of the week or some special card. I mean, Leafs are pretty much in the shitter, even though I've been kind of like following the traits and all that stuff. Uh, they've been. I, I actually like what Lou Lamorello is doing with the team, and I don't know if Kadri is going to get. Any more team of the weeks at this point, especially with the team kind of all getting traded away. So, 
Kadri is also up on that uh, trade block as well. We got Seabrook, Yandel, and 8.3k. Once again, solid D pairings uh, that people are giving me for Brent Burns, so I don't mind that as well. Falk, Stull, and Anderson. Uh, solid player. I mean, Falk is definitely the best player out of that one. Uh, Stull and Anderson kind of just, I guess, on the side there. Falk, Quincy, and Vermette. Once again, Falk is the most expensive player there. Quincy, Vermette, not worth too much. Uh, 21,069 bucks. I uh, don't know why I want to take that. Uh, Bobby Ryan, once again, pretty much kind of the same players. Clarkson and 23,999 coins. Look at that. Uh, how's Clarkson doing this year? I don't even know. Has he been sent down to the AHL or something? God damn. Uh, Nicholas Cronwell and Tyson Berry. That is a pretty good trade offer. I'm pretty sure Cronwell is upwards of at least 15k. Uh, with Tyson Berry. That, I, I kind of like that trade offer. I will delay it. Uh, Chris Letang, 87 overall. Uh, we, we did get another Chris Letang, so I will delay that. Mark Giordano, 87 overall. Once again, uh, Bozak, not sure how much he's worth. Maybe 10, 15k at most, even though I don't think he's going to get any special cards. Once again, Cam Fowler, 3.3k. Volk and Berry, a couple good defenders there. Uh, Slava Voinov and 15,000. As well as Andre Palat, Phil Pula, Kucherov, and Murray. So a whole bunch of Tampa guys as well as uh, Columbus Team of the Week Murray. So we will have to decide what player I want to take. So I will come back with my, I guess, final decision. I'll be right back. So going through the trades, I think I know what to pick. Uh, there are some really good deals. So I will kind of go through the ones that I definitely considered. Uh, let me see here. Bobrovsky, I definitely considered. I mean, an 89 overall goalie. I mean, he's... Pretty, pretty decent, so I, I kind of want to pick that as well, but uh, I don't really want to take that. Uh, there is also, uh, let me see here, uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hamilton, Fowler, Myers, three good defenders, honestly. I think he is upgrading, trying to upgrade a Brent Burns, but once again, three defenders that maybe, I mean, could be shortened down to two players, and that's kind of what I'm leaning more towards, instead of picking a three- Three for one trade. I kind of want to pick a two for one trade. Uh, there are some pretty good two for ones like this one. 8.3k Yandel and Seabrook. A very solid deal. And I was going to be taking this offer. But definitely the best offer right here I think is going to be. Let me see here. Uh, Nicholas Cromwell and Tyson Berry. I mean 87 overall Cromwell. Pretty much I think equal to Brent Burns pretty much. Tyson Berry. Just solid defenders overall. I mean, you would get 100 chemistry just to put those guys on your lineup, I guess. So, there it is. I'm going to take that for Brent Burns. Enjoy him. He's a pretty su sick card. We'll take that, and we'll move on to uh, Ryan Getzlaff. Ryan Getzlaff, 43 trade offers. Okay, so we're going to have to see what we get here. And uh, we're going to have to reject some trade offers as well, because you only get 30 dots up at the top. So, I'm going to have to go through the... I'm going to have to reject at least 12 to get all the way to the end. So, first of all, we got the first offer here, Muzzin and 92k. Solid amount of coins, good defender. We'll keep going here. Uh, Mike Camilleri, 15,000 coins. I really think the first one's going to... First one's definitely a lot better, so I'm going to reject the Mike Camilleri deal. At least keep, let's keep going here. Rick Nash, not a bad player as well. I think he's around 60-70k, just about. He's not worth, like... Uh, the 90 overall, see Taylor Hall's, he's not 90 overall, but he's not in that range just yet. So yeah, I think I'm going to reject that deal. I still think that first offer kind of just sets the tone for Brian Getzlaff right now. We also got Logan Couture, Anders Lee, and 20,000 coins. A um, couple solid players, 20,000 coins though. I don't think that's going to be worth even close to the first deal. Uh, we also got Pavelski, Carter, and Sutter. Not a, ba not a bad couple of players there. Pavelski and Carter for sure. Those guys are worth a little bit, so I will delay that. Uh, we got Dougie Gilmore, uh, Pavelski, and 3,000 coins. Uh, I will delay that as well. Uh, we got Dan Girardi next up. Uh, Aaron Ekblad, Movember, Marlowe, and McKinnon. Uh, solid players there. I will delay that. Gilchenyuk and 92k. That is a pretty solid card as well. I will delay that. We got a bronze contract we can reject right away. Okay, so going on, we got Jeff Carter and 20,000 coins. Uh, not a bad deal as well. I will delay that. Uh, Nyquist, Marlowe, Green, Helm, 15,000 coins. I don't think that's enough to upgrade to that Ryan Getzlaff. There are some better deals for sure, so I'm going to reject that as well. Let's go back to the 6th dot or 7th dot. 7th dot. So, Placanitz, 
Petrangelo or a Petrangelo or something like that, right? And Roman Yossi. I haven't said his name in so long. I'm going to probably mess it up, but Placanitz, Petrangelo, and Roman Yossi. Not a bad couple of defenders there, as well as Thomas Placanitz. I'll definitely consider that as well. Uh, Vanek, Parise, Granlin, and Falk. Um, I mean, I think Vanek is one of the new milestone cards, right? That just came out a week ago, so I will have to consider that as well. Uh, Jordan Eberle, I don't think he's worth too much. I mean, he is an 87 overall. He is a good player. Not sure if he's worth 150000 though, so I will delay that. All right, so moving on, we got Taylor Hall, Petrovic, and 20,000 coins. I'll delay that. Uh, Luke Robitaille, uh, he definitely got better than last year. Uh, 90 skating, 92 shot, 92 hands. Not a bad card to have, so I will delay that. Kessel, Bobby Ryan, 10,000 coins. I do like Kessel, I will delay that. 140,000 coins straight up. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be just taking up straight up coins. You might as well just kind of save up your coins and just buy them on the marketplace. So I will reject that. So we just checked Kessel and Ryan. So we'll move on to Patrice Bergeron and Evander Kane. Not a bad couple of players there. I will delay that. Uh, Sedin, Rask, Richards. Don't think Rask is worth too much. Same with Sedin. So I will delay that. 100 coins and a gold contract. We will reject that. I think the worst part is that you can't... Go back to the dot that you rejected. I don't, I don't exactly like that too much. Uh, it kind of wastes time. But Andre Pavlik, uh, Jonathan Druen, not bad. Uh, I don't know how much Druen is worth. Pavlik can't be worth too much. I will delay it though. Uh, Zuccarello, lo a lot of team of the week and special cards there. Zuccarello, Eric Stahl, uh, Charlie Coyle, and Jack Johnson. I kind of like that player of the game, Johnson. I will definitely consider that. Uh, Nicholas Backstrom and Marion Gabrick. Don't know if I want to take that as well. I will delay that. Evander Kane, McKinnon, Couture, and Varlamov. Basically a 4 for 1 for Couture. Or 4 for 1 for Getzlaff. What am I saying? Not sure if I want to take that as well. Uh, JVR Movember. And Dorval with 9.2k coins. I will delay that. Kopitar, Pasternak. Not bad. I don't know how much Pasternak is worth. But I will delay that as well. Wendell Clark. Oh shit. Oh man, I've been wanting a Wendell Clark card for a while. Oh man, I don't know if I want to take that. I don't know how much he's worth either. I mean, I opened up quite a few packs I couldn't pull him, so... I don't know, we'll have to see. Logan Couture, Anti Niemi, Patrick Sharp, and Nick Benino. Alright, I will delay that. Backstrip and Kessel. That is a pretty good bunch of players right there. I will delay that. Ryan Johansson, Backus, and Ryan. Uh, solid 88 overall, guys. Not sure if the value is right there, but I will definitely consider it. Brian Johansson, Galchenyuk, Jones, and Turris with 4.3k. Uh, I will delay that as well. 135, I can reject that. And we'll start off from the back then, uh, since we are getting trades. Daniel Sidney, Markov, we can definitely reject that. Those guys aren't worth too much. Uh, we also got Austin Matthews and 69, 69 coins. I'm going to reject that as well. I'm not sure if he's worth like 100k so i will delay it or reject it mason 122k solid amount of coins I, like i said i don't want to take a huge amount of coins for a player you might as well kind of just sell off mason try to buy your own get slap so i can maybe accept a trade offer with someone trying to upgrade their card uh zetterberg steve mason player of the game that's not bad uh carter and 10k i think there were some other deals with uh, carter and a certain amount of coins so i will have to recheck that taylor hall and Alexander Steen, as well as Duchesne, Gustav, Nyquist, 4,000 coins, 130k, I can reject that. Going to the back here, Henrik and Daniel Sedin, um, not worth too much, I can reject that as well. And at least we got to the end of those trade offers. And I think Ryan Getzlaff is the one with the most trade offers, so we don't have to worry too much about doing that again. So anyways, I'll make my decision here, I'll go through all the trade offers again, and I'll tell you the ones that I'm most interested in. Alright, so I think I made my final decision here. Uh, there's a lot of good players, a lot of good trade offers that you guys sent in. So I don't exactly know which one's the best value. I'm just going off with what I kind of like the most. So there are some runner-ups that I do like. Uh, let me try to find the trade offers. I mean, Alexander Gelchenyuk and 92,000 coins seems like a pretty decent offer. So don't know if I want to take that as well. Uh, but there's also this one, Placanitz, Petrangelo, and Roman Yossi. Honestly, a couple of good defenders and a centerman. I mean... Uh, if you're talking about an upgrade, I mean, Ryan Getzlaff for those three players, I would definitely take that any day. I just, there are some other better offers. I already have a Roman Yossi and a uh, Petrangelo in my uh, collection, I guess. 
The only player that is really unique is the Thomas Placanitz. So I don't exactly know if I want to take that. There also is a couple other good trade offers as well. Uh, let me see here. Um, let me go to... Uh, I mean, the player of the games and all these special cards. Lots of good cards in there, I guess. Not sure if I want to take all that for Ryan Getzlaff, so I will delay it. But I think uh, there is a couple more that I want to tell you guys about. Wendell Clark, honestly, I I'm leaning towards Wendell Clark. I just kind of want his card. And for Ryan Getzlaff, uh, it just seems like a pretty awesome trade offer to just get and just take. So I will delay it. Uh, Couture, Niemi, Sharp, and Bonino as well. I mean, in terms of value, I think this one's the best one. Kessel and Backstrom. Uh, you're getting an 89 overall player and as well as an 88 overall player. That is pretty good. Don't know if, if I want to take that as well. I mean, both those players are solid. Uh, there are some other players as well. I forgot about this uh, to check off this tr trade offer. Uh, Duncan Keith as well as Aaron Ekblad. Once again, I don't know if Duncan Keith is worth too much and I could honestly just buy him in the market if I wanted to. So, not sure if I want to take that. Duchesne, Nyquist, Hallstein. Yeah, I think um, this deal was pretty good as well. I mean, I do like Zetterberg. I do like Steve Mason. I kind of do like the change team Toronto's on them as well. But I think I'm going to go for the Wendell Clark. I, I, I don't know. I just feel like uh, I want that card so bad. And I haven't even had a chance to even try him out yet. Uh, how big is he? 5'11", 198. I want to give him a shot. So there you go. Enjoy your Ryan Getzlaff. I will take Wendell Clark. There you go.